Welcome back everyone. Let's go. Yes, Dana. Welcome back everyone. I'm Craven and this is East 8. Last time we discovered this dungeon in basically a pursuit of hide and go seek with two little girls. And apparently one of them is hiding down here. So we need to find her. And next to the fact that it's very strange that she is down in this dungeon. We have a dungeon. We can finally explore a dungeon with Dana. It's the first time so far we get to do that. So we're going to enjoy this. Uh, I do wonder what kind of puzzles we're going to get in here. If there are any kind of puzzles or if it's just destruction galore. Sanctuary Crypt, Chamber of Braziers. But what, what is this place? What an elaborate ruin. It looks like some sort of sanctuary. I never knew this existed beneath the stupa. It doesn't seem like there's any other people down here. But animated statues are patrolling the area. I need to be careful. Careful? Destroy them all. If there's no loss of life, then why should we hold back? Warping in the crypt. Dana can warp between the crystals in Sanctuary Crypt. Alright, so it's basically probably that the further ahead you go, the more crystals, and you can go back in steps in case you want to get out. I never knew something like this existed beneath the capital. This won't be easy. I need to be careful. Yes, you do. Uh, this crystal is full of light, and you sense the faint presence of essence as well. This essence, I can use it to warp somewhere. It's not responding though. Nope. Because we don't have any others to connect to. Alright. Yeah, so far, no problem. I do see a fire there? We can interact with it and turn it off. Okay, so that's the puzzle. The puzzle is that we need to work with lights and open and close doors, okay? We got that. Now, I'm gonna assume the other door there is probably gonna be the exit that we need to go in right our entire circle to get there. Assumption, yeah. Oh, I love the music here. So different from what we've uh, had so far. Ooh, Phoenix. Okay, so they turn on the lights. So what's the chance gonna be? Keep the lights burning or turn them off? <laughs> turn them off, yeah, that's it. Uh, sealed by the sacred brazier. Some doors are sealed by the brazier and will not open. Extinguish the brazier flames to open up these doors. Birds of uh, made of fire reside in the area with braces and can relight them if they get too close. These birds will revive when they're defeated. Make sure they do not reach the brazier. Yeah. Oh, this is not good. The brazier has been lit. Yeah, I figured that. That much. Deal with those birds. Oh, we will, we will. And since I'm guessing that the ones over the other side. Oh, we can jump over. Okay, that's real crap. Alright, so... Do we need to go back to the light? Uh, okay, we're, we're not doing the best right now, so we're gonna fail. Because I wasn't really thinking that we could just jump over to the other side. How hard can it be? Come on. <laughs> Is it gonna close again? Yes, it is. Or isn't it? Ah, okay. Whew. Thankful. Okay, I, th I thought that maybe there's still gonna be the case that we need to uh, turn them off and get through the door before they get revived and turn the lights back on. So, so far, so good. So, we have that little bit of respite. So, it's a bit less tight than I thought it was gonna be. Which I'm totally fine with. 
give me some little extra room to uh, move around to be able to make a mistake or twice. Alright, this sounds like a spirit. Yeah, that's, that's one of those ethereal spirits. Yes! Medicine. Good. And that. 50 essence fragments? Yeah, but until I get a way to use them as Dana, that doesn't hold any value getting those items. Ooh. An enemy I need to actually overthink what I'm doing. Put some essence into this. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. I know not who you are, but I thank you all the same. What? What? An Eternian? <laughs> She's a lively one. My name is Dana. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, I'm Amy. I am known as the spirit of possessions. I apologize. I am not the best around people. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Possession. As I recall, there are spirits which dwell in items and in essence equipment. Maybe she has uh, had a bad experience with people in the past. Oh, may I ask you a question? Have you seen a little girl around here? She might have passed through recently. A little girl? Hmm... Uh, I have been focused on gathering possessions, and I haven't seen anyone. I see. I, I was wandering around here, searching for any possessions I might come across. I didn't expect a dreadful threat to be set near just this beautiful glass orb. Had you not been near, I could have faded away. Ah, I know. Maybe a simple spirit who collects possessions, but I wish to repay you, so please, take this possession with you. It is very, very rare. Oh, I've heard the spirits sometimes have powerful treasures. Ah, well, I have those as well. Let me see what I'm willing to part with. Full medicine obtained. A little bit more than that. Your spirit, come on. <laughs> Incredible. This medicine has been infused with essence. Uh, are you sure I can have this? Yes, you saved my life after all. I require payment for any future transactions, understand? <laughs> we spare as fancy jewels as essence fragments. You, you should have any, I will trade you items in exchange. Ah, thank you. Alright, so that explains everything. So this is the thing we can use our essence fragments for, so at least that is now dealt with. Uh, I haven't found that little girl yet, but this spirit should be helpful in the future. Oh, I explore this room for possessions each and every day. Should you desire your possession, please come to me, Dana. Yes! Great job! Yes, sir. You now have access to Amy's shop. Dana's virtue increase. Yeah, talk to her to enter the shop. That's fine. Let's see what she has. How many medicine can you buy of her? Because these, the medicine. No problem. Uh, Tempest Elixir. Uh, defense? Definitely. This is rare, you know. uh, defense plus 30. Lightning Resist, Saurian God Talisman. For that, I, I want to know is she wearing any accessories and which, which one it is. None, so yes, we do want that. Welcome. Please take care of it. Thank you. I hope she's a medicine. Ten. Okay, so let's get a second one. Alright, just so we have a little bit of backup. 
So now we have a reason to grind a little bit of medicine every one I mean fragments every once in a while. Yeah. See now it has purpose. Now I have uh, a reason to defeat all these enemies. Because I want their essences. Yeah, come here. I wanna get your rocks off. I need them. Um, I wonder if I, can, if I buy a secondary accessory with 50 defense, uh, 30 defense. Will this be able to equip that as one as well? Donna, where have you wandered off to this time? Oh, how did you know? Well, you've been gone for a while. I'm running out of excuses. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll take care of this quickly. All right, let's get this off so we don't mess up the camera. Okay, so we got three lights. And we know the flame is where they come from. So I would say... Let's see if we can make it. It's not the most advantageous one. Just enough. Right yep. Alright, let's get through. Because uh, Olga is pushing us. So we do need to hurry up a little bit. To be honest, we, we do not want her to come after us uh, at this right second. Besides, we're playing a little game of hide and go seek. Ooh. If music turns off when you're doing a dungeon, that can only mean two things. One, your game broke, or second of all, a boss is coming. <laughs> okay, so this is where we got all the accessories for. Uh, we can get some rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder what I'll find. Donna, are you interested in possessions too? Be careful. Ruins such as this are full of all kinds of scary creatures waiting to attack. Alright. Of course. Ooh. That looked like a giant gear. The Awakened Azure Dragon Armor. Gracious. Uh, I don't mind who you are, you're going down. <laughs> this must be the guardian of the sanctuary. If that little girl wanted in here, she could be in danger. Forgive me, but I must defeat you. And so we shall. Right. He wants us at a distance. I'm gonna wait to use my super until I'm a little bit further into the fights, until I know more. Or until he's almost dead, one of the two. But uh, it's okay, we have enough uh, healing items uh, to deal with this. You know what, I want to see it. Let's see what it does. <laughs> yeah, we're shooting with uh, essence stones in our ultimate mood, it's beautiful. Ooh, how do... Oh, double jump, of course. We can just double jump over it. Alright, I've learned that that move is now honing. Well, the blast way is not that bad. It doesn't hurt, it just pushes us away.
Yeah, we're, we're dominating this right now. But he is uh, changing up his attack, so... It does mean that he does change it the closer you get by defeating him. Yeah, no problem. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is really bad. Uh, but this is where we got the medicine for, so... Do we want to use this? I actually don't want to... Oh, one medicine, that's it. Now I can keep going. Yeah, let's be a little bit more aggressive. Because I do not want him to start using his dash attack again. Got it. Yeah. He became a lot more aggressive towards the end of the fight, but we got this. The spam the hell out of everything. <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh, a chest. <laughs> 100 essence stones. Ooh, this should do it. Wheel of Eternity. Alright, that looks like an accessory. Uh, stone duration up randomly. Okay, my stone duration to enemies or enemy stone durations on us. I'm gonna assume it's on them. Okay, for now let's equip it because we haven't got anything better at the moment, so yeah. Wait, could that be? Okay, is that is where the story continues? I wanna go the other way, I wanna see what happens. Because I would assume we're not allowed to go this way. I can't. Yeah. We need a new skill, or we need to be able to turn that machine off. Which is fine. So let's see what the monolith is uh, about. An archival monolith? It looks quite old, too. I wonder how long this has been here. It still works. Yay. <laughs> impressive. What is this? Ancient logs of an ancient civilization? In the beginning was the sage. The sage, a wise man of enduring intelligence, embarking on a long journey when he discovered a colossal tree. Seating himself at the foot of the tree, the sage began to meditate. And in its trance, a mysterious power was revealed to him. The sage could read the wind as easily as a bird. He achieved mastery over the elements of fire and water. He could even see future events yet to occur in distant lands. The sage had tapped into the power which governed the very laws of nature, and he saw fit to call it essence. When the sage returned to his homeland, he used essence to drive out the Saurians that threatened his people. Freed from the threat that had plagued him for so long, peace had finally come to the sage's homeland. The people honored the sage, learned from him the art of essence, and with it achieved untold prosperity. With his newfound influence, the sage assembled his people and established a nation. So, it was that his radiance, Light King Alkea, became the first king of Eternia. Is this the founding of Eternia? 
It does sound like that. Or at least the founding of it, uh, essence practices, yes. This account seems slightly different from the story we were told as children. I thought the Light King came from an area near the Great Tree. <laughs> Which version of events is true, I wonder? Huh? Don't they say facts are often stranger than fiction? No, that's this random girl we saw when we were at the building for the first I time to move around. That's true. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Hello, lady. Did Sia send you to come find me? Well, technically, you've been cheating on the hide and go seek. Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> Be the girl who was playing hide and seek. <sighs> I finally found you. <laughs> found me? No, I just came out of hiding for you. You must be pretty good to make it all the way here. But that's still not good enough to catch me. <laughs> so you must be Eo. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. Yes, like I said, the first time we were able to move around in the temple. We saw her at one of the doors. I, I can't remember what she was uh, saying. Probably something generic, not too important. But yes, we have met her before. <clears throat> I know you're playing hide and seek, but you still shouldn't have come in here. Come along. I'll take you back home. Huh? Nah. I want to play some more. But if you're going to be all pushy about it, then I guess I'll go with you. For now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Today's gonna be so much fun. On second thought, no wait. <laughs> that would be best since I need to get her out of here. But afterward, I need to check the spot where I saw that swordsman. We really need to. Well, aren't you thinking super hard about something? <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless, we have to go back up to the surface. Stay close and follow me, Eo. Hold on a sec. Say, what do you suppose that is over there? A door? Another door. Don't you want to check it out? Why do I feel like she's leading me on? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a closer look at it before we go back. Honestly, Eo. I guess I'm a little curious about it too. This sanctuary might run deeper than I thought. It does. <clears throat> Just a quick look. Okay. Oh, she's she's definitely leading us. But even if there is more to this place, I'm only taking you as far as that door. Yay! Let's go. All right, let's see what's there. Dana places her hand on the door, but the door is shut tight and will not budge. Ah, Fui. Ayo may be cute, but she's such quite odd for a little girl. Look at these words engraved in the door. They are written in Old Eternian. Only the virtuous may enter. Hmm, I wonder what that means. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Maybe it will only open under the right conditions. Anyway, I'm sorry, but this is as far as we're going. Let's get out of here. Mia is worried about you. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay, let's go back. Uh, Dana's Virtue. Increase as Dana's Virtue will open up the doors within the Sanctuary Crypt, allowing access to the next floor. If a door will not open, gain Virtue by completing Eternia quests or rescuing spirits trapped in Essence Rifts. As we have been doing. Okay, we can't see how far we are, how much virtue we need. We just need more. And that's fine. So this is basically like an old cave type situation. That uh, the more powerful you get, the more deeper you can go. And the more rewards can be gained. Uh, return to the server with Io? Yes, let's return. We already saw we cannot go through the wind tunnel just yet. And so Dana and I returned to the girls who, by this point, had grown tired of waiting. Aww, I didn't think I was 
gonna lose this bat at hide and seek. <laughs> Looks like I'm the champion today. Uh, I'm gonna challenge you again tomorrow. Come on, you guys. You both really worried me. I was this close to getting the guards to go look for you. Okay, okay. Sorry, I got a little carried away. Yeah, no dungeons next time. Just stay in town. I didn't think it'd end up being such a big deal. <laughs> Still, you're lucky to have people who worry about you. Don't ever forget that. Maiden. Yeah. Mia, don't cause too much trouble for Sia. Always be nice to her, okay? Well, maybe 90% of the time, because you do need to have a little bit of strife amongst family members. Even if just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I will. I definitely learned my lesson this time. From now on, the only time I'll make Sia cry is when I tell her scary stories about the Requiem Festival. Oh, hell yeah. M Mia? Okay, then I'll tell you the scariest story I know. Yes. <laughs> YouTube ad policy. <laughs> Scary story around. Hmm. It's an ancient story about an immortal guardian. <laughs> Stop it, you guys! <laughs> Thanks for today, Maiden. No worries. Here, take this. It's treasure that me and Sia found. Rim flower times three. All right. Are you sure? Isn't this important? It's okay, really. Right, Sia? Yes. If we look together, I'm sure we can find more of them. Yes, but again, we have found a use for essence stones. Now we still need to find a use for the other materials. Unless we're going to find a way to transport our materials through the safe points towards Edel. That would be cool. Okay. Then I'm happy to accept this. Thank you, Mia and Sia. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for looking out for us. Okay, we're gonna go back to our mom. Bye bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Twin hide seek complete. Hell yeah. Hmm. Twin sisters. How heartwarming. Now then, Eo. <laughs> I think it would be best if you went straight home. Do you need me to escort you? <laughs> I'm not that little, you know. Besides, I'm in the middle of looking for something. Looking for something? I can help if you'd like. Mm, that's okay. I've been looking for it for a while now, but I think I've nearly found it. I is that so? I I'm not sure I understand, but you at least promise you'll get home before it gets dark. <laughs> yep, yep, I will. I think I'll just wander around this area for just a little bit longer. You don't need to worry about me. Okay, I promise I won't worry. Now then, I need to head to the crystal near the temple. Adol, wait for me. Well, to be honest, if this is in the past, it doesn't matter how long you take, Dana, because it takes thousands of years, or however that time is, for the prayer sapling to grow, so... an hour or two doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Yeah, and that's why time travel is so dirty, because it makes it all really messy if you think too much about it. Uh, Sia worries a lot that she's kind of a doofus, but she's still my adorable little sister. As her big sister, it's my responsibility to look out for her. Yep, yep. Mia, stop getting your clothes so messy all the time. Mom's gonna get mad, you know? Th th that's got nothing to do with anything. <laughs> yep, that's how sisters uh, usually act. Well, according to moves I've seen. And having said that... Let's check out the map if there isn't another side quest. Ooh, what's this? Uh, Sanctuary Crypt, Chamber of Braziers. Yeah, I, I think it's more that we cannot continue on because we don't have enough virtue just yet. So I think that's fine. My vision, that bridge up ahead has fallen. So what can we do that to uh, improve it? <laughs> More uh, sapling trees! <laughs> the temple of the great tree is up ahead. For now, I'll just let Olga cover for me. I need to focus on guiding Edel right now. Mm, 
The crystal is emitting a mysterious light. Will you plant a prayer tree sampling? Yes. Please, open up a path for Edel. And I was hoping that it works. <laughs> Are you okay at all? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> it's almost like the trees are trying to prevent the bridge from collapsing. And <laughs> now we can keep going. It's one thing to hear the guy describe it, but it's another thing entirely to actually see it. Edel explained that Dana is deliberately trying to help him. C could that be really true? That must mean she's aware of Edel's actions too. Either way, now we can move on. Yes, let's go to the Temple of the Great Tree. Yes. Dual Consciousness. Sharing your consciousness with Dana. Touching certain crystals will let you play as Dana in the past. Dana's actions will affect Edel's era. Path might cross or the landscape might change. You can still switch to Dana by touching a crystal even after her event is over. Yeah, just like I said, in case you miss one of the side quests and you need to go back to do it, you can always find a way to get there. Which is Leave it to me. awesome. And yes, we need to go to the temple, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to do that in the next episode, so... I hope to see you all there then, but until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time, bye bye.